God bless you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, our precious Lord, our Savior, our King. Right, please stay with me. And the title you'll see is Garden Reflections. Garden Reflections. And um, this is very interesting um, that if you walk um, through a garden and I live for a long uh, from, <laughs> from <laughs> long time too long time in a garden and you what you see you reflect something back and um, what you see it gives you thoughts and if you see through the scoop of the Word of God you will find out that many things are uh, by the great teacher for example saw a lot of things in nature by the wisdom of God right I want to go first to the book of Genesis and um, right and it's very interesting what the Bible teaches in this scripture Genesis chapter 2 verse 90 and 20 and out of the ground and and out of the ground the Lord formed even every beast of the field and every fall of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he so called them what he so called them and whatsoever Adam called them every living creature that was the name therefore that was the name therefore that was it's very interesting that um Adam is first of all put in we read in this same chapter is put in the garden to keep keep the garden to protect the garden and to work in the garden it's he reflects himself he, his his deeds what he's doing it it he jobs reflects who he is who he is and what his character inside uh, his behavior is reacting um he can find out through what he is by and we we if you read this in this um if you see this in that by work you understand you are no you, you understand yourself you can find out who you are and in particular if you are uh, a christian god will use your work to find out who you are so you can manage you are a keeper and and uh, and 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 so you, it is a beginning from your own household right and before you get your own household that god give you a test so you can find out he can find god can test you so you will tested can you call things out can you talk so this this particular scripture teaches this that Adam was in line with God and the names that Adam pick up from the spirits from God himself were corrected were the good names for all the animals and if you are in line with God then also and let me read 20 and Adam gave the names to the cattle and to the fall of the air and every beast of the field but for Adam there was no found and help meet for him very interesting if you can call things out you can also find out what you are missing in your life what you are missing in your life that means if you are no you are in line with God you can call things out you can give things names you can understand what is going on in other man's lives and to qu be quiet and if it is necessary you can call it you can give the name you can understand it by the wisdom of God then you are going to a next level let me say it in this way this is a very nice and interesting scripture and this teach this and think about this for your personal life 19 Proverbs 27 27 verse 90 as a water face answered to face 
as, as in water, face, answer to face. This is all kinds of relationships around you. So the heart of man to man. That means it is not, again, it's not only relationships around you, it's all things in life. By wisdom of God, you can understand, have I called things correct and good out? Can I have, I have, I, did I have, have I the good understanding of things from me around, from myself? Can I understand what is from myself and things around me? Right. Please share this message to bless you, to keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.